I would definitely correct that mistake. And I, I owe it to the, the, the working mothers out there that I have offended and hurt with my um, careless statement. Representative Shepard did get a chance to correct that mistake yesterday during a reconsideration of that bill later in the day. But he voted no on that, along with 36 others of his colleagues. He admitted he did so because he was advised by some of his fellow legislators to do so. Other than a lack of local oversight that was mentioned during the debate, that by taking this grant money, Idaho would be submitting to federal control, Shepard said there was a concern with the curriculum that he wasn't quite clear on. Concerns like this. You're voting for social justice ideology to be given through grant money to our little ones. The goal in the long run is to be able to take our children from birth and to be able to start indoctrinating them and, and teaching them to be activists and to do the things that, um, that we feel as parents and as people coming from a conservative, conservatively known state um, are inappropriate. So is it only if it's conservative it's appropriate? Questions for another day, I'm sure. Representative Paul Amador from Coeur d'Alene, the sponsor of the bill, made it clear this grant comes with 100% local control. And as for those curriculum questions, they just kind of went unanswered. But that's all for not after the failed vote for reconsideration of the bill, which made us wonder what reconsideration of a bill means. Representative John McCrosty of Garden City first voted for the measure, voted for it, then changed it at the last second to avoid it essentially dying in a tie since it didn't get a majority and the House Speaker isn't allowed to break ties. McCrosty hoped his no vote might actually revive it. The clerk will lock the machine and record the pairs. And so what I did in changing my vote at the very last second from yes to no, that put me on the prevailing side. Because I was on the prevailing side, then what the rules allow is to make a motion to reconsider, which basically puts the, the same bill back up for a vote. So it, it kept the bill alive a little bit longer, try to find some opportunities to maybe get some people to switch their votes. Ultimately it didn't pan out like I had hoped it would, but again, it's, you know, it's one of those last minute, uh, last ditch efforts that you make for some of those things that are, that are so important. And when the vote is as close as that one was. What happens to that money? And then is that our last ditch effort to get that $6 million? Yeah, so, you know, I know that the governor's office, that members of the legislature, uh, are really supportive of that program and, and of that grant, conceivably some things that could happen would be to maybe uh, appropriate slightly less money and use slightly less of the grant rather than losing all $6 million. If we don't use it, it's going back to the feds and some other state is going to get it. So if, if it's going to go to a different state, why not just keep it in Idaho? I know, by the way, has been using that grant since 2019. This would have just extended it for another three years and they could get another shot at it, but it has to come back as something different since it's not allowed to be reintroduced as the same bill during the same legislative session. And as you heard Representative Shepard say, he would also like a chance to correct his mistake. But we also wanted to point out how much we appreciate Mr. Shepard for speaking with us today about his comments he made yesterday. Not a lot of people would be brave enough to do that. He did apologize on the House floor as well. And you can find a whole lot of reasons to fault him for what he said. A lot of us did. The first step in correcting though is, or correcting that error, I should say, is, is pointing it out. The second step is admitting it was wrong and apologizing for it. The next would be to make amends possibly. And we'll see if Representative Shepard gets that chance.